Okay, in this video, I'm going to take a look at some uh, simple quadratic equations and solving for the two, um, two solutions. Uh, a simple quadratic equation uh, is one where you have a co the coefficient of x squared is 1. So you see in the three examples here, it's just an x squared on its own. There's no uh, coefficient before it. And they can be factorized. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one here. And the simple method to do this is to open up two sets of brackets like this on the left-hand side. When we factorize x squared, the factors of x squared are x and x. And then all we need to do is look at the constant. And we want factors of the constant that will add to give us the coefficient of the x term. So factors of 4 that will add to give us 5 are going to be 1 and 4. So x plus 1 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. To solve for x then, we let both, both factors equal to 0. So x plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1. x plus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 4. Okay, so let's look at uh, a couple of other examples where it's just slightly different. You have to think about different factors. So this one here, x squared minus 7x plus 6. So I'll open up my two brackets again. They're equal to 0. My factors of x squared are x and x. Now I'm looking for factors of 6 that add to give me minus 7. Now... Factors of 6 that are going to add to give me, me minus 7. They're not very obvious straight away. If you think 6 and 1 will give me plus 7, 3 and 2 will give me plus 5. But I can actually use the negative factors. So I can use negative 1 times negative 6, which will add together to give me negative 7. So it's x minus 1 and x minus 6 this time. So that means x minus 1 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 1. And x minus 6 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 6. Now, in my last example, I have x squared minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. I'm going to start off the same way. Open up two sets of brackets. Start off by factorizing the x squared as x and x. And now I'm looking for factors of minus 8 that are going to add or subtract to give me minus 2. Well, in this case, I'm going to look for a positive factor and a negative factor. For example, 8 by minus 1 will give me minus 8, but 8 minus 1 will give me 7. So that's not going to work. Minus 4 by 2 will give me minus 8. And minus 4 plus 2 give me minus 2. So that's going to work. x minus 4 and x plus 2. So then x minus 4 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 4. And x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 2. These three examples are three of the easiest uh, quadratic equations that you can get. Uh, one where both factors are going to have positive, one where both factors are going to have negative, and then one where one factor is negative and one factor is positive. Check out my next couple of videos on quadratic equations where I show you how to solve uh, more difficult quadratic equations using the guide number method and also using the quadratic formula. Thanks for watching. See you next time.